And so, swag, and I took back to another video. And today, oh boy, this is one of the videos that will probably get a lot of dislikes. You thought the Deji diss track got a lot of dislikes? Whoa. Um, this is going to be bad. Today, I'm going to be doing a video talking about LT Cobra. If you guys don't know who LT Cobra is, how do you not? How do you not know who LT Cobra is in this point in time? This kid has literally gained so much clout out of being the literally most stupidest kid alive. Like, I don't understand. We give the biggest idiots some clout, and then, the, and then the people who barely do anything wrong gets like this big, massive hate storm. So basically, this is kid, Alti Cobra commentary channel. You know, commentary channel like to critique things. He critiqued this YouTuber named Just Destiny, and he ended up like that video garnered like a ton of thing. I guess people were just had time to hate on Just Destiny because that video got views. Like that video got views. It was doing good. Just Destiny saw the video. Was fine with it. Then the kid started like bothering Just Destiny, and don't, before I say anything, don't get me wrong, Just Destiny definitely has done some messed up things in this beat that he should have never done. Number one, um, Just Destiny did end up filing, filing a copyright strike that's now gone, but he's filed it, which is horribly wrong. And another thing apparently he did is, I don't know, like, apparently Keemstar exposed this, is like, he sent like, a fake lawyer to attempt to get the kid because he wanted to scare him, but that's a crime. So I don't see where you why you would do that because th that that was the one part of this whole thing that I don't get. The copyright strike, okay, he's probably like, oh my god, he's giving me super blunt hate. Like let's hit a copyright strike. Which, what the heck? Why didn't you just like flag it down for like abuse or something? Like anything else would have been smarter in this situation. But you decided to go the route of copyright strike, which was not smart at all, because things like that get your channel taken down. But, um, and that lawyer thing, I don't... <sighs> beats me what the heck was going through his mind when he did that. Let's scare the kid with a fake lawyer. I was never going to sue the kid, but... I can't make this video without criticizing Just Destiny, okay? It, it just wouldn't be right. But, yeah, that... I, I don't know what to say to that. I can't even play devil's advocate because what the, what what do you say for that? But yeah, they just Destiny did some dumb stuff to me. But I feel like LT Cobra has to be the dumbest kid on the planet. Like guys, I don't understand where in the world. Like, okay, so apparently in this video he talks about how just Destiny over sexualizes kids, and I'm gonna talk about that like point. But he talks about how just Destiny over sexualizes kids and. Um, he made this, like, little joke, oh, like, he could be, like, a pedophile or something. Like, he never really called him a pedophile, but he made the joke, like, so that, that was there. So, number one, that's not, so, I don't think that's something you joke about. No, I don't think you joke about that, because that's serious. Like, like, imagine he's, like, really a pedophile. Like, that's a serious thing, like. You don't, being a pedophile is not cute at all. Like, being a child predator, not cute at all. None of that is cool. It's not. So, joking about those matters, just like making rape jokes are distasteful, so is making jokes about being a child predator. It's it's absolutely distasteful. It's disgusting. I don't like that. Don't make jokes about matters that are serious. It's stupid. Number two, he makes this joke, and it causes whole waves of hate towards just destiny. People were calling him a pedophile, I assume, I'm assuming. Just Destiny blocked the kid on Twitter, and that caused him to, like, thing. But my thing is with this kid, this whole thing came full circle. Keemstar did an interview. Number one, I got to talk about that, too. But Keemstar did an interview with Just Destiny, and that kind of, like, banged a nail in the coffin because apparently some people thought that Just Destiny was, like, being stupid, which... If you're going to, like, okay, the one thing that Just Destiny did stupid in that interview that I will say he did stupid was, why didn't you just, like, admit it, you did a, you freaking abused the copyright system that you, that all commentators, all of the commentary community knows to, is known to hate. Like, you abused the one system that you hate. I don't understand how you would do that. So just admit to it. Okay, I did this, I'm sorry, I'm going to remove the strike. Instead, he's sitting there like, like, oh, I don't know if I removed the strike. I would have removed the strike and flagged them for, like, 
slander and defamation because of the hate storm it caused. It's like the same thing as like making a content of like I that was making like a content cop. Like that video causes like waves of dislikes and hate and bow. And like, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes like the, the slander and defamation thing can fit underneath it. Like in this situation, it fits. And then Keemstar and Keemstar is on Twitter talking about, no, it does. Yes, it does. He called the hate storm of people calling him a pedophile. A nonce, whatever, I know that I sound stupid saying that. But yeah, it, it, it would fit under the term of defamation. That would stand up. Copyright strike would not stand up. Anyways, this kid is like, like, he makes, it's now that he's got, look, he made that video with 2,000 subscribers. He now has 10,000 subscribers. And now, everything he does on his Twitter, on his, like, channel there's got to be a little nod to Just Destiny. Like, dude, okay, bro, we get the point. You got in a beef with Just Destiny, and it looks like you won. All right, shut up now. Stop being stupid. It's annoying. You're sitting down there like, <laughs> Just Destiny's stupid. Oh, this person doesn't. Oh, like, on Twitter, somebody, like, made a theory that Just Destiny just wants this kid's address. I don't know if that was joking or not, but that's the most stupidest thing I ever saw. And he said it was quality. And I was like, you're actually stupid. And he goes, I'm crying right now. Like, this kid is honestly, like, you're trolling the crowd. You're beating... Yo, y'all play Fortnite. I, if y'all watch my videos, then y'all have to have played Fortnite because I play a ton of Fortnite. It's the equivalent of one pumping someone in the face... Default dancing on their grave for five minutes after their death. Like, you just keep going. And once the dance done, you keep going again. And, like, you keep doing it for five minutes. Like, it's unnecessary. You don't need to keep going. It's obvious. You won. Boom. Have it. Take your clout. Take your fame. Take everything. Take PewDiePie endorsing you. Take Keemstar endorsing you. Take Colossal Crazy sucking up Keemstar just to be on your side. Like, honestly... And then Keemstar, first of all, before I say anything, I respect for Keemstar. I don't hate Keemstar. I just don't like what he did here. He was completely unprofessional. You're the news guy. Why are you not biased? Why are you biased? I mean, okay, we get it. Like, a lot of media these days are biased. But you got to give an, a, like, unbiased, like, look, you cannot ask just Destiny if he touches kids. Why was that a question? And every and Colossal is crazy. Whatever freak this idiot is is over here sucking Keemstar Giant to interview. Like, oh my God, yeah, that was a pretty good question. I wouldn't have asked it myself. Then it wasn't a good question. If you could sit down and say, yeah, I would not have asked that question. Whoa, that one went too far. Then it wasn't a good question. It's like asking someone. It's like sitting down in an interview with someone accused of rape. Do you like? Un unwillingly touching people? I mean, do you like touching people against their will? What kind of question is that? Who asks that question? Number one, not only are you going to get the exact same answer that everybody's been getting, no. Number two, that's a dumb question. Like, why would you ask that sort of question? Just because of the fact that he copyright struck the video? Look, I'm going to tell you something right now. When someone receives, like, for the first time, a massive hate storm, it's going to scare the hell out of them. One day in LT Cobra's career, if he keeps like growing off of this one thing, somebody's gonna start a hate train on this kid. Somebody's gonna try to hate on him. He's a commentary channel. It happens to them all the time. Like he's gonna get a hate train on him, and he might be scared. He's like 15. He might like be pissing his pants, going in the bathroom. Mommy, they made a video. Like, like you're gonna have a reaction. Just Destiny is probably like freaking scared because it's like. A ton of people are, like, sending this hate towards you. Did he handle it the right way? Do I think he handled it the right way with that copyright strike? No, I don't. It's true. He didn't. And that's all he had to say in that interview. I did not handle this the right way. I apologize. I will be removing the strike. But he didn't. And I'm, I'm going to be I'm gonna be honest. He didn't handle it right. Just that seems a, it seems like, like from his videos, he's a cool dude. I feel like he didn't handle it that right. He did, whoa, he didn't handle it that right. He didn't handle that right. But this kid is being completely obnoxious towards it. Every every five seconds on Twitter, there's got to be a Just Destiny reference. He's going on podcasts like, like the savior of YouTube because he exposed one person for something that didn't even make sense. Your thumbnail features kids. So you've got to be... So, so, so that's over-sexualizing. Okay, they're wearing weird attire. But that's what he covers in the video. 
Like, I don't understand that. Like, I, if someone could explain to me, like, why does, like, like, it's not like he's clickbaiting. This is what he's talking about. This is what happens. These are what these people are doing. So, like, if someone could explain to me, personally, how in the world does that count as over-sexualizing children? If it's not, like, his his titles are, like, a crazingly cute little girl decides she wants to spend her mom's money. Like, I don't understand. Like, where do you guys get the idea of he's got to be, like, where do you guys get the idea of over-sexualizing if the content that he puts out is completely denouncing the actions of these kids? So I don't understand. Number one, number two, Keemstar in that interview with him was okay with the whole, with him saying, like, taking it and, like, thing for, flagging it for, like, slander. But now he's on Twitter talking about, that wouldn't stand up. Yes, he did. He slandered the hell out of them. If anything, he could, like, like, get his, like, whatever um thing he used it to donate, whatever Twitch channel he used to donate, he could get that taken down. Because, like, he get that thing. Because that's, like, you're beating a dead horse. It's unnecessary. So he's about to rift you out. Oh, no, he dabbed. He infinite dabbed. Um, but, yeah, like, it doesn't make any sense on how you guys were, like, cause this whole hate storm, but then this little kid is just, oh, this little kid gets no flack. He's perfectly fine. No, he's just as guilty. He did something, too. Like, bro. Hold on. Like, bro, this whole thing was just for him to, like, I'm pretty sure he did it, like, as a cl clout-grabbing move, and damn did everybody fall for it. Everybody said, here, take the clout, take the clout. He probably over here subscribed to Just Destiny on, like, five different accounts. I would not be shocked. Because Just Destiny makes some good videos. Like, le let's be real here. If you go and look at Just Destiny's, Just Destiny's, Just Destiny's content, he makes some pretty funny videos. Like, I watched some of his videos, and he's pretty funny. Like, he made a video about, like, that one trip you read in 6 9 song, Poles. And the video was funny. I had a nice laugh about it. Then you look at LT Cobra's content. He's he's not that funny. I'm sorry. I'm going to say it. You're not funny. Like, I watched this one video. He did, like, a critique on this YouTuber called Pretty Boy Fredo. Like, because that YouTuber does, like, some sort of, like, uh, sexual predator exposed... For a, I don't, social experiment, whatever it is. And, like, the video wasn't funny at all. And I thought the whole point of being a commentator was to bring, like, a funny out, out, outtake on to, like, you know, Dr. Phil episodes and YouTube channels or, like, random Instagram comedians. But, no, like, he, he wasn't funny at all in that video. It just seemed like he was... didn't know what to say. Which, in that case, don't post the video. You didn't know what to say. Like... He had no, like, points that would make you say, like, whoa, that was actually pretty funny. <laughs> like, he had no jokes that you would sit down and say, oh, wow, that made me giggle. No, they were all bad jokes. Like, it wasn't really that funny of a video. And I went to that video with, a, I went into that video with an open mind. I was like, huh. He had this one video, he had this one, like, funny joke in his video that I kind of, like, I laughed at. It was funny. It was, like, because the dude was a racist and he said, like, the N-word. And, like, he was, like, and the girl was, like, she said... And then they bleeped it out, and he was like, she, she could have honestly said anything in that situation. She could have said, like, nectarine. Okay, that you got me there. That was pretty funny. She could have said anything. That was funny. He had me there, but then that was about it. The whole video was just him, him making lackadaisical points that didn't make any sense. And, like, he's parading, like, he did something big by exposing just Des by exposing just destiny. But all you did was get gain, uh, do something for Cloud, and you won. But whatever... I'm calling this kid out, like, <laughs> like, honestly, I would like to see, like, if he, like, looked at my channel, if he can, like, do what he, like, like, make something funny out of that, because, like, I've heard it all when it came to my channel, when it's come to my channel, I've heard it all, I have kids at school saying stuff about it, I got, like, people, like, on my comments that used to say stuff about it, I don't really get into beef anymore, I like to see what he has to say, like, Cause he's not funny, like he's not entertaining. He had one good, one good moment, and that was calling out a 1.7 million subscribed YouTube channel. One good moment, and that would be the only moment he has in his life. In about how long? Let me see. How long am I gonna give him? In in about two months, his channel will be just as irrelevant as it was before this whole beef. Like, come on, guys. Like, let's be real here. Nobody's gonna watch his videos. He has all these subscribers, right? Nobody's watching his videos. Nobody's gonna watch his videos. Out of the eight thousand subscribers he got, 
He's losing, he's losing like half of them by the time summer hits. I'm calling it because none of those people are just following to just like gain the trend. It's like a Jake Paul situation. Everybody followed Jake Paul, including me. We all followed Jake Paul because he had the boxing fight. Then in 2017, there was a whole Alyssa Violet beef. There was a bank situation. All of that. Everybody was following Jake Paul because of the drama he was in. Everybody's following LC Cobra because of the drama he's in. He will be nothing in about four, three, three or four months. You're going to look at his channel. You're going to be like, whoa, he fell off. No, that's how his content was before he had that one shining moment. But anyways, I digress. Um, LT Cobra, if you're watching this, you're a legitimate idiot. I don't like you at all. Like, honestly, like, come on. Um, make sure you guys follow my Twitch channel, Twitch.tv, best I swag for streams. I'm always on Twitch. Like, if I'm not watch, if I'm not thinking, I'm watching streams. Like, I'm always on Twitch. Like, you will never catch me not on Twitch. Because I always like to stream. I'm grinding like crazy over there. I want to get that. I want to get my Twitch to where my YouTube is. And then I'll start, like, merging both in a way. Like doing both of this, but I'm grinding the crap out of that. I just needed to make this video to get this stuff off my chest. And yeah, I mean, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. I tweet when I'm going live on my Twitter, so that would be pretty important if you follow me there. I mean, whatever, you don't have to, but hey, if you want to, um, at swag for tweets. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, um, make sure you guys hit that like button, you know, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that. You when YouTube gets broken, you get my you at least know when I post because you get that little notification. But yeah, I love all of you guys except for ULT Cobra. I think you're stupid. <laughs> like honestly, I'm waiting for the day that this dude channel goes back to what it was, which was irrelevant. Anyways, love you guys. Swag signing out. <laughs> Peace. Love you guys.